Gloves off is Bill Geist's look at a rare sport that relies on a good left hook and a skillfully used rook. I've been waiting for a couple of weeks for my favorite new sport to come up in the Olympics, but it's obvious at this point it's not going to happen. So we'll show you chess boxing later on Sunday morning. It's kind of hard to move the pieces with all these, these big gloves on. With the Olympics ending tonight, you may not have noticed that one sport hasn't been represented. Our Bill Geist has. David Depto trains hard to be among the world's elite in his chosen sport. And it pays. Here's David competing in Berlin for the world title in what appears to be boxing until something strange happens. The two fighters sit down to a nice game of chess. So uh, David opened up with the Scandinavian defense, uh, quite an unusual defense. But... Then after a few opening moves, the chessboard is removed and the two beat each other's brains out. Then it's back to chess and more boxing. It's a whole new sport. Chess boxing. Chess boxing. Chess boxing. <laughs> David loses the title match, but not to worry. This San Francisco biotech salesman is still the number one ranked chess boxer in the United States. Are you the only chess boxer in America, really? That I know of that's competed, yeah. I'm the only chess boxer, you know, that, that's active right now. Chess boxing seems to actually be growing in popularity elsewhere. There's about 50 competitive chess boxers now worldwide. You know, it's been growing over the years. They actually have a couple of gyms in Great Britain and <laughs> Germany. But here in the U.S., not so much. Well, welcome, guys. To the and David is trying to change seminar. that. Now, the version of chess that we play in chess boxing is called speed chess. And we have a chess clock. You'll see there's, there's a timer for each player. He recently the held the first chess, chess boxing chess seminar in the United yeah, States. Like I said, I'd, like to, I'd like to give you a kind of a taste of what it's like, you guys. Who wants to, uh, Matt, you want to give it a shot? Yeah. Do, do, anyone? I'll give it a try. All right, just whoever wants to, come on. Let's, let's there was classroom way. instruction followed by a practical exercise. Two, three, four. Hi. Who knows, there may be another world-class chess boxer in the group. Or at least a second participant in the sport. Good. Much better. All right, all power. Break his ribs for me. All right, time. Come on, guys, let's go to the chess board. I began to realize it must be pretty hard to play chess after you've been hit in the head. Usually what we do is go back to the heavy bag and do another round. Back and forth, you know? Three minutes of all-out fighting and then getting punched in the head a few times and then trying to go back to that really involved task with you know you're trying to think three or four moves ahead on the chessboard and, and you got plans for five moves down the road you know and it's really really difficult Time. the next greatest challenge may be how david's supposed to train for a chess boxing match when he's the only chess boxer on the continent david's friend matt proficient in the martial arts, agreed to be a sparring partner in preparation for David's September 6th bout in Cologne, Germany. Ready, go! Matches consist of six four-minute rounds of chess, alternating with five three-minute rounds of boxing, unless a checkmate or a knockout comes first. But what's to keep a Mike Tyson from just pushing around a couple of pawns, then knocking out his opponent in the first 10 seconds of round one? Well, chess boxers must first be highly rated as chess players, which so far as we know, Mike Tyson is not. Time. David, who holds a degree in mechanical engineering, hopes chess boxing will help dispel notions that all boxers are dumb and all chess players nerds. What do you guys think? Awesome. That's That's nice. cool, huh? You think that they're polar opposites, they're really not. Anyone who has boxed knows that boxing is a chess game in itself. Chess boxing originators tout the sport as a kind of brains and brawn biathlon, a sport for the complete person. Indeed, Plato twice won a mixed boxing and wrestling event in the ancient Olympics. 
and David hopes to someday do the same in a mixed boxing and chess event in the modern game. The WCBO and the founders, are they, they'd like this to be an Olympic sport someday. They have really high hopes for it. One day the Olympics, perhaps, but for now, you're looking at the number two ranked chess boxer in the entire country.